Did you know that the independent industry analyst and consulting firm Berg Insight expects well over 4 million electric scooters in use worldwide by 2024 and 130 million e-bikes by 2023? With a flourishing electric industry, we get some instant classics like the specialized delivery e-scooters or the hyper-local delivery e-bike we will showcase in this video from Bark Mobility. And stick around to the end for a look at our honorable mentions. Let's get to it. To get notified when a new video is posted, hit the bell icon below right next to the subscribe button. Thank you for watching Mind's Eye Design. With the surge in popularity and use of electric scooters, we are seeing more innovation in the industry as well. That innovation manifests itself in many ways, from bigger batteries to more efficient motors to various implemented features. Some areas of the world require a scooter that is tailored more to their specific needs, and that's the situation that Bark Mobility finds itself in. The Middle Eastern and North African region, or MENA, has been waiting for automakers to cater to the region's specific needs for a while. Bark Mobility says, why wait when we can do it ourselves? And now, they claim the title of MENA's first provider of smart and sustainable mobility solutions. Those solutions come in three forms, the RENA1, the RENA Max, and the RENA Lite. Let's start with the RENA1. What is it exactly? The RENA1 was the first iteration of an ongoing problem that was never entirely solved until Bark stepped up. It's an electric scooter designed to tackle deliveries around the MENA area, but only saw a little use. It was received well, but ultimately lacked what it needed to push it to the next level. In reality, the RENA1 was a stepping stone for what would become their local innovation, the RENA Max. So then, what is RENA Max? To put it simply, it's a stylish, highway-ready electric scooter designed specifically for deliveries in the unique environment around the MENA area. The crowning achievement in the company's test is undoubtedly the delivery box they have designed. If you didn't know, Abu Dhabi, where Bark is located, sees average temperatures of around 100 degrees Fahrenheit in August, with highs climbing their way to just under 130 degrees. Thankfully, their delivery pod boxes are temperature controlled with insulation. Even beyond that though, it is also electronically lockable. It tracks and logs every time it is opened and closed. Aside from being very secure and climate controlled, there are even reconfigurable shelves so you can adequately store nearly anything within. The obvious uses are the safe delivery of foods and drinks. Still, applications for pharmaceuticals, electronics, and other services will be paramount to the future of e-scooters in the area. In terms of performance, the Arena Max runs off of a 12-horsepower motor powered by a 5.6-kilowatt-hour battery pack. It sees top speeds of around 60 miles per hour, making it highway legal, with a range of around 93 miles. The company hopes to see around 50,000 of these handy-dandy scooters hit the markets by 2025, with a low monthly subscription for couriers. The Arena Max is already shaping up to be a hit. The company knows that, which is why they don't want to rinse and repeat, but instead target the minutia of the problem. The Arena Max will handle the more extensive and longer routes, but they recognize the need for a delivery vehicle to handle the smaller routes, which would cut down significantly on logistics. That's where the Arena Lite comes into the picture. This is a delivery e-bike meant for hyper-local deliveries within a little over four miles for things such as groceries, mail, or pharmaceuticals. It has a range of just under 50 miles per battery charge and a top speed of just below 25 miles per hour. The Rena Light is efficient with easily and quickly swappable batteries and an internal gear system. It can continuously be utilized on small-scale deliveries. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed our video today. Head on down to the comments and let us know your thoughts. Are you interested in the design specifications of unique locations for our new electric age? What did you like or dislike? 
we love to hear your feedback. And stick around for our honorable mentions. Built by a Swedish team of expert bike enthusiasts that call themselves CAKE, the Work Series is a reimagining of utility, function, and green speed. While a lot of e-bikes are used for recreation or short-distance personal transport, Work aims to put innovative e-bikes in the hands of messengers, first aid responders, and other service professionals. They do this with their range of e-bikes that include bigger batteries, powerful drivetrains and customizable configurations for any industry. The Work Series is an extension of three models already offered by Cake, the Maka, the Osa, and the Kalk, with variations of each model in the Flex, Range, and Plus fit-outs. Japan has had a firm grip on a variety of electronics for decades, and that includes vehicles. Ikoma is a Japanese startup with an exciting prototype they call the Tatamel bike. This unique electric bike is designed to fit under a desk when not in use. When folded, the Tatamel bike and its 600-watt motor can fit under nearly any desk over 2 feet tall. When unfolded, estimates for the bike's performance include a top speed of 25 miles per hour and a range of around 31 miles on a single charge. The side panels can be interchanged for advertising or other signage. A complete LED lighting system, power sharing battery, and front